August Wilson is a titan of the American theater, plain and simple. I've been familiar with his work for many years as I've, most of my career has been in a theater. And I've been privileged enough to even direct a production of his of, called Seven Guitars. I directed that at Actors Theater of Louisville about maybe about five years ago. Uh, but before that, uh, at my introduction as an actor to his work was in a production of Fences at Theater Works in California back in the uh, early 2000s where I played the role of Gabriel. And um, the thing that I've learned about August Wilson and every one of his works is that they're, they're beasts. They, they have to sort of climb on top of and sort of enjoy the ride. And, but uh, it always takes you to places that you never imagined. Um, it's, uh, it's more than a meal. Uh, it keeps interrogating itself and turning in on itself. And once you think you understand the piece or understand a motive, you actually don't again. Uh, there's something even more to uh, mine again and again. So um, I love his work. His work is uh, essential. Um, it's work that I make sure that uh, whenever I have an opportunity to teach, that I teach the work to students as well. Because I'm like, you need to know O'Neill, you need to know Pen you need to know Penter, you need to know Shakespeare, you need to know August Wilson. The dance that we are um, engaging in right now with George Wolfe at the helm is one of trying to figure out how this adaptation, which is very, it is theater, it is theatrical. Uh, people are lyrical with language. And how can you translate that into film? And I think uh, Ruben Santiago Hudson did a really beautiful job when it comes to the screenplay. But I think that what we have to sort of find are these moments where we land, but moments when the dialogue just pops and it does crackle because it is uh, inherently theatrical. So to not, be, to not shy away from that, to understand that that is exactly the form that we're taking into this film adaptation and to know that that's a bonus. I know how to create an ensemble, and that's from my years in the theater. And I think that that's not only just rehearsing, that's having dinners, that's in interrogating, that's having an interest in each other, uh, to know where they come from, to hear the rhythms of their voice, um, to watch how they move. I feel like that, um, that we all are interested in investigating that. And I think that we've had a blessing of having a two weeks of rehearsal for this, uh, for this experience, and that's a luxury. Um, but I love that, the, especially the band members, we rehearse our lines all the time because I think that we want them to just start to, we, we've made certain decisions with, with our director and now it's time for it to flow. So it's just breath. And so every single day we take ourselves through a line through. So we're not thinking about it anymore. We're just living and breathing in it. So which I think is, that's something that we just start to do organically because you never know with everyone's process, whether people want to be a bit more private about their process and save their performance for the day. But I think that uh, George has assembled a lot of people who respect the theater and understand um, the work at hand and understanding that we need to actually get on top of this beast, like I said, um, that August Wilson has laid out for us.